Hey y'all, it's your girl Keish. Welcome and welcome back to the Keish TV. What's going on my good people? How y'all doing on Saturday? Today, okay, today is Saturday, but I'm going to save this because y'all are going to get it in the new year. So happy New Year's Eve to you guys. This is a part two that I will be doing for you guys. Today I have for y'all pork leg. Let me see if you can see it back there. It's a pork leg, right? And uh, let me go ahead and introduce these seasonings and move them out the way so I can bring it back and then turn it around so y'all can see it. Right here I have some cracked black pepper. I have some onion powder. And I'm going to tell y'all why I got them wrapped in plastic. I have some Mrs. Dash table blend. I have some garlic powder. And I have some Saison Complete. I have Saison Goya, the packets, two packets. And I have some chicken broth, right there. I have a syringe and an empty bowl. The empty bowl is, you know, from the syringe. Right here, I have some, yeah, I have one whole large yellow onion. I have one whole green bell. I have four of the little regular, the little tiny red bells. I have one, no, two yellow bells. I have some cilantro, some garlic, some parsley, and I have, um, what is these things? Uh, allspice in my, my, my sofrito. This is my version of sofrito. It's not authentic, but it's my version of sofrito. So let me, uh, put these gloves on. So how y'all doing? Anyway, I know y'all see this little big piece of pork. You know what? Let me take that off. I'm going to take, take it off. You know what? You ain't going to hurt nothing. All right. Take that off. So anyway, I have this piece of pork. It was cut in half. Um, I have one half and my baby has another half. We weighed it and mine is 9.2 pounds. Yeah, mine is 9.2 pounds. Oh, for the plastic. The reason I have the plastic on, because I'm going to be touching this. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to cross-contaminate on my seasons. I don't want to put pork, uh, pork sweat, pork juice, whatever you want to call it, on my seasonings. So anyway, this is what it looks like from this end. And this is what it looks like from the other end. As you can see, it has a real pretty fat cap on it and stuff. And so, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut in this area right here so I can just get the skin all pull it back. I'm going to stab it up and stud it with uh, my sofrito. And then I'm going to inject it with some chicken broth and seasonings. And everything because I like my food flavorful, flavorful, and even though I'm carnivore, like I said, I still do these minimal, these minimal, you know, seasonings and not on, you know, minimal vegetables. And um, this is more, I'm, I could call this more of a keto bore meal. So, um, like I say, I'm gonna go ahead on and I'm going to lay up there and pul pulverize, you know. I'm gonna lay up there and um, process my sofrito, get that together. And I'm going to add my seasonings to my chicken broth and everything. And I'm gonna put some seasonings on top as well, but I just want them injected inside. That way, you know, it can be seasoned, seasoned all the way through. And then I'm gonna wrap it up. And once I wrap it up, I'm gonna tightly wrap it and put it in the refrigerator until, um, until Sunday night because even though this is only nine pounds I still want to do it low and slow like I did the other one and it came out great you know I'm going to do it low and slow for about maybe six to eight hours this time so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead on and when I come back I'll have this already uh, processed and I'll be showing you guys me scoring this so I'll be right back 
Okay, y'all. Let me show y'all. Uh, I just put the seasonings that I showed you before in my uh, in my chicken broth, but I am gonna add about maybe a half a tablespoon of salt. Just you know, even though that saison has salt in it, I just want to just add a little more. It's not gonna hurt anything. Cause like I said, this is a big piece of meat. It can take it. It can take it. So I'ma come back after this is pulsed and y'all will see what I'm doing next. All right, y'all, I am back. And all right, like I say, this piece of meat has been dried, but it still looks like it needs to get dried a little bit more. So let's go ahead on and dry it a little more. But anyway, I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to turn it around because I want to start cutting. I want to start cutting it. All right. Let me see. Should I score it? Let me see. Oh, let's see. Is this nice? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, what it is. You know what? I, I, I think I'm going to score it afterwards. So let's get under here. Get some of this. And y'all don't, y'all don't, don't mind me. I have my undershirt on because when I'm in the comfort of my own home and I'm cooking, this is why a lot of times I don't do videos of me cooking because I like to be comfortable. And I'm sorry, you know, it, it just is what it is. And then, you know, this is a new year coming in. It's going to be a new me. I have to, I know I got to get out of my comfort zone for as like, and I am, I'm getting up out of my comfort zone. Ain't no, I have to, I'm getting up out of my comfort zone for the mere fact that I'm sick of always having to worry about covering up my arms and all this because this is not that, it is what it is. Don't like it, watch another channel, but. If you want to see cooking videos from me, I'm going to be comfortable. I'm not going to even lie to you. I'm going to be comfortable. You know, so that's what it is. And I am basically just taking this skin. I'm not going all the way. As you can see, I'm not going all the way. I'm not going to take it all the way off. Nanny, I am taping. I'm not going to take it all the way off just for the mere fact that I'm, I'm going to put it back on top of it. Okay, let's go this way. As you can see, it started coming off really good. So let's let's go here like this. Let's do it like this. Let's get this way. Oh God, y'all, excuse me. Okay, y'all. Um, I'm still cutting or whatever, but even so, and I know they still have fat on here. Don't worry about that, cause guess what? It's all gonna melt. It's all gonna be good. And I'm just really just cutting this fat off so I can have, you know, some. Pretty little pieces of chicharron. You hear me? And it's gonna be that. Let me see. Let me see if I could score it now while I'm, you know, while I cut it. I mean, I, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that because the last time I did it on my other one that I had um for Christmas, the one I did for Christmas, when I tell you, I scored it and it it, it scored nicely. But I had went too deep into the fat. I'm like, nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So, let me just pull this back. And as y'all can see right here is my, my sofrito. I am stabbing it. Because like I said, I'm going to put sofrito all through there. I'm going to put these seasonings all through it. I just want it to permeate through, all through. 
all throughout this meat. And I'm telling you, don't be scared to, you know, do this, you know. It's not going to hurt anything, so. Let me pick this up and turn it over. This thing is kind of heavy, but I got this. Uh, all right. Get mm -hmm. over there. Let's start stabbing some more. Cause I am, when I tell y'all, I'm putting this so free to all through here, and then I'm still going, then I'm going to, uh, then I'm, uh, inject it. <laughs> Almost cut myself, you heard me? You know what, I'm about to take some of this sofrito and put it in a bowl because I I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna use all of it. So I'm not gonna use all of it. So ain't no sense in, you know, wasting all the rest of that sofrito with that. So y'all excuse me. Oh, and don't mind me, I even got the, uh, what? I even got this wrapped up. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now, as you can see, it's stabbed up. It's stabbed up real nice. So, I'm going to go ahead on and add my sofrito in it. And while I'm on one side, I'm going to inject it. You know, I'm going to inject it too, so. I want it to be flavorful all throughout. I even added some of these seasonings in my uh, sofrito that I added into my chicken broth. They may come off and that's okay. Even if it does, it's, it's okay. It's all right if it comes off while you're cooking it. It's not going to hurt nothing. But also, that's why I like to go ahead on and season it before, you know, like a day or two before I cook it. And since I'm doing this Saturday, because I had a lot of stuff to do on, uh, on yesterday, that's why I didn't get a chance to season it on... Friday like I was supposed to I want to be able to I'm I gotta see I didn't get a chance to do it how I wanted to on what is that? where is it on Friday well, I'm probably gonna have to stab this part right here again so bring me that knife back No, I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry about it. That's fine. That's fine. This is this is fine, you know. Now, let me switch bowls. Y'all, this this right here, I don't do this. I, I'm not gonna even lie. I don't. I don't really inject my baby is the one that does the injecting so this is basically her expertise it is really acting acting up for me come on now don't do that
You know what? I think I'm gonna have my son come help me invent this. Son, come help me. Okay. I'm probably not going to need him to help watch, me. Watch, watch how you push it in there. You don't know what you're making. I know. I'm trying to. Oh. Yeah, it's starting to come out. And that's fine. It don't matter if it come out. As long as you get it in certain spots. You hear me? Go. Ain't gonna do nothing. I just want it injected as fully in here as I can get it. Oh, come on now. Come on. Come on, inject this right here for me. Y'all, y'all see how it won't do me? How it won't act with me? Uh -uh, I got so much hurt. It's, it's okay. Don't go all the way. Oh, okay. Right there. Frito on it. Yeah, I know I'm gonna need some more. Too. You can just put that on here. Put it on there. All right, just leave it on. It's fine, y'all. Oh, okay. Go, go. You gotta put that over here. This honestly is a calming thing, y'all. I'm telling you, it, it's really calming because if you like, if you, if you don't, even if you don't like to cook, but you like trying to relieve yourself of stress and all that, there, just pick up a piece of meat, season it, go to town stabbing on it, <laughs> go to town stabbing on it. And put it in a refrigerator for a couple of days, or if you want to stay, if you want to do it the same day or whatever, just you know, marinate it for maybe about an hour or two. Maybe as long as you can go, then take it out, unwrap it. You know, like if you wrap it or whatever. If you don't wrap it, then that's something different. But if you wrap it or whatever, wrap it up, let it go for a few hours. Take it out the refrigerator or whatever, however, and uh, just start putting it in the oven. Because this is going in the oven, y'all, at 300 degrees for eight hours on tomorrow night. So I'm going to put this in kind of late. So, all right, start uh, injecting. Start injecting. All right. Okay, right there. Here. Here. Okay, here. All right, now come on. I think this is going to be a two person process, but it is what it is, y'all. 
Okay. Why is it doing that? Is it, I mean, it's up in it. Is it stuck? And don't be scared if it starts spilling out on you, because it will do that, like it just did me. That's okay. That's okay. This is a messy job, but you know what? In the end, it's going to be really, really good, y'all. In the end, after you put it in the oven, and you see how everything that you have done all everything you worked for for is worked for into putting this into look it's gonna be everything uh-uh now i'm gonna put this on here uh-uh i don't need that i'm gonna season i'm gonna season the top of this i'm not scoring it or anything like that i'm just gonna you know season it you know all right now let's go with give me that uh garlic powder yeah garlic powder you know i'm just gonna put some garlic powder and that says on, on it but you know what i am gonna put that on here too all right i'm gonna put that on here as well so all right Give me um that I am taping. I'm gonna put the says on on here, all over. All right, I'm gonna put some a little bit on now, you know. And I'm going to put some of this says on on top over here. I'll rub it in. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to rub it in. But it's, it's going it's to be all right, y'all. I'm going to rub it in. Open up one of them says on packets. Matter of fact, I think I should go ahead on lay up the and put the says on on this part over here. Put the says on on this right here. Now, let me go ahead on, turn it back around. Ugh, Lord. Y'all, this is going to be a, this is a really nasty job. This is a nasty job. But you know what? It's going to be worth it. It is. Give me the saison. Put just a little more on here. Now, give me that red saison packet. All right. some more right there. All right. And that, you know, I'm just, I'm just basically putting this, this says on, on, uh, uh don't open it. Putting it on here. And I'm gonna pat it, I'm gonna pat it in. Just pat it, you know. Pat it in. Sure, it says I'm getting on here too. So it is what it is. You know, if it get on, I put it in my hand and I do it like this. So 
If it get on the meat, it's not gonna hurt anything. Trust and believe it will not hurt anything. Anything. That's just extra flavor. You hear me? Extra, extra flavor. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get right here and put some right here. Okay, I had to make sure. Don't open it then. Cause he wants to he wants to cook himself, so. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Well, why are you messing with my stuff? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because I'm messing with a lot of things. Mm-mm. Well, that's something you don't mess with. You know, you know how I feel about you messing with my food, bro. Alright. You being smart? No. Okay. Last of the season on here. All right, y'all. Now, let me take these gloves off because, boy, this is, oh, this is a mess. This is a mess, y'all. A, a mess. Now, yeah, what I'm about to do now is get set up, move everything out the way. And get set up so that I can start to wrap my pork leg. I have done this on on here. I did it, I think, about four or five years ago. Then I did one about a year ago. I'm showing you guys. I didn't show you in detail the one I did a year ago. I just, I guess I told you what the seasons were on there but the one that i did four or five years ago i went into detail with that so uh oh, oh, it got on my hand i need something i need uh i need a uh, towel with alcohol and soapy towel and a uh, towel with alcohol anyway i'll be back after i get all this stuff out the way okay now as y'all can see i have the plastics on the table come on put it down all right and i had my son take and i had him take and uh put this on for me so basically now i'm gonna start to wrap it and i know it's probably not gonna cover it all the way but it's fine because you know this is just the first wrap of it because i like to wrap it securely tightly all that okay now see that's the first wrap of it. I want it tight and secure. As you can see, this part right here is still exposed. And that's okay. That's okay. We're about to wrap it some more. Get that plastic wrap. You can take the gloves off now. Get the plastic wrap and let's do this again. So like I said, I want this wrapped up. Hold up. Wrap here. Come on. Put on that tightly. Tightly. Come on. Bring it up. Okay. 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 Now. Don't worry about my baby. That's my baby in the background with his little baby. So, all right. Now, this is that. All right. Now we're gonna take. You know what? I ain't got no time for it. Yeah. As you can see, it's tightly wrapped up. But I'm going. I'm not finished. I'm going this way. Right. Uh uh. No no no. Go the other way. Turn. Yeah. We're going to go here. We're going to wrap. Okay, go ahead. Pick it up. As you can see, I'm going over. Now 
over. All right. I say go again. Go the other way again. Like this way. Awesome. Go that way. Awesome. All right, do it. All right. I I I'm I'm not I I like for my meat when I'm marinating it like this. When I'm doing a pork shoulder, um, whatever you want to call it, a uh, pork shoulder, pork shoulder, shoulder. Lord, I can't speak to thee. Come mm. on. When I'm doing a poke pork shoulder, a pernil, whatever, I like to, this is what I do. All right, come on, put it down, put it down, they can't see it. This is what I like to do. I like to make sure it is secure. That's enough, bro. Sure. Wait, go around one time, go under one. I like to make sure it's secure, but he makes sure it's secure, secure, okay. That's enough. All right, that's enough. Right there, right there, right there. Put it back in the thing. Thank you. So, as you can see, this is my pernil, y'all. And this is just part one of the process. This, this process is the seasoning process. The next process y'all will see is the cooking. And the cooking process uh, will be on Sunday night, you guys are going to get this on New Year's Eve. So, Happy New Year's Eve to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. I am going to be bumping some other videos. So, the, my other videos, my hauls that you guys see, it will be previously, previously recorded because I had a video for it tomorrow and Tuesday, but they will be bumped because y'all want to see this Sunday and see part two on Monday. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you for coming and watching and rocking with the girl. And until next time, always remember to smile, smile, smile. With that being said, I'm going to push you down and pull you up later, family. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace.